Oh, howdy all. Grab yourselves a beer. It is time for some Path of Exile. Uh, I'm Segog, and I'm doing a collaboration here with Fall Makes Hideouts, who is one of my favorite hideout producers in Path of Exile. And I just want to demonstrate some of Fall's work. Uh, if I jump here, I'll show you the other copy of the Toucan Hideout. Uh, this is one that I got from Fall's page, and it's just a pretty spectacular, very simple hideout, functional map device location, uh, every, all the masters that you want are in reasonable locations, and of course, a toucan worthy of praise. So, Fall and I adapted this to the, uh, sorry, Fall and I adapted this to the Celestial Nebula hideout. And that's what this is showcasing. And all it is essentially, I, the original versions had a lot more doodads in them, but eventually I ascertained that the best way to have this hideout work is just to have the toucan itself uh, sitting, uh, obscuring the waypoint, Master's conveniently located around it. Uh, then there's a stash near the map device, the same distance between them as in the overgrown hideout version of it. And then there's lots and lots of empty space around the outside. I really like the look of this hideout. It's becoming one of my favorites. Note that the crafting bench is placed miles from everything else. That's because you don't need to go there very often. Of course, you can easily move that around and moving it is as simple as bringing up this editing tab and saying, edit. Hey, Crafting Bench 1, could you move to here, please? Or could you move to there, please? Either way, uh, you can easily modify this and the, you know, modify all the rest of it. The difficult part, though, is modifying the toucan. The toucan itself is made up of a trillion and one pieces, and this is where Fall's expertise comes in. Uh, I certainly don't have the knowledge to really make this look any better than it does at the moment. Uh, but that's something that Fall can possibly improve on in the future. Anyways, uh, there's been a lot of requests for this, so if you want to download this hideout for your own use, uh, what you'll be able to do is go over to Fall's uh, channel. Fall will have the link, uh, because it's Fall's work, not mine, uh, I think it's Fall's to give out. And Fall will have a copy of this video on their uh, YouTube as well. Highly recommend subscribing to them, they're one of my favourite Path of Exile YouTubers that's not really related to the gameplay, but to some of the other things around the side of it. And once you've got it, uh, you'll download the file somewhere in particular, and then you'll be able to click import here, at which point you'll be able to select from hideout files within the game client, and it will tell you what various, uh, what various decorations you need. From a decorations perspective, you'll need Zana to level seven from memory. Uh, Zana to level seven requires you to have once ever done 120 Atlas bonus. Uh, it doesn't need to be in the current league, it can be in any past league. Uh, from memory, you will also need Nico to 4 or 5, which requires you to have delved to about 150 on one or more occasions. Jun to pretty high, I think Jun might be 5 or 6. This just requires you to do a bunch of Syndicate missions. Uh, it's not particularly onerous, but it will take you a little bit of time to get there. And so if you haven't done that already, then get to work on those Jun missions. The Elva, from memory, the Elva requirements are very, very low, as are the Einhar ones. Anyways, if you've got any comments or questions, fire away. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it there, and I hope you have a good one.